I think a, a really useful way of looking into the future is to look back at the past at roughly the same time frame. So if I look back the last nine or 10 years and ask myself what changes have happened within teaching and learning in higher education, I would say, the, you know, the centrality of blended learning, the introductions of um, uh, new forms of delivery, um, more uh, innovative approaches to program development, more innovative modules, and a bigger emphasis on graduate skills. So I would look to the future and see all of those trends continuing and possibly to a greater degree. As time goes on, we're becoming more aware of the kinds of abilities that we want our graduates to have maybe when they enter the workforce or as they set out on their journey of lifelong learning. And these abilities aren't necessarily fully captured by what we call the traditional subjects. But it's also the case that when I say they're not fully captured, there are essences of them within the t t uh, traditional discipline. So I think it would be a mistake to um, uh, cast away the traditional approaches. I think it's more like embracing them and innovating upon the knowledge and experience that's been gathered over many generations of teaching and taking it that one step forward. And if many people will have emphasized the idea of new technology and they even use terms like new forms of learning. I don't buy that at all. I think technology has always enhanced learning. Learning is, is, is the way it is since people were people. So um, we don't have new forms of learning. We're just using new tools to enable us to learn. And I think a bit of that like euphoria will calm down and we'll, we'll have a better holistic and sustainable model of learning that we will be able to apply within higher education settings. The first thing I'll say is I think it's going to look a lot different than 2021 looked from 2011's point of view. Um, in a lot of ways, digital innovation hasn't really impacted higher education almost until the, the COVID-19 pandemic. And frankly, the use of video conferencing and other tools to adjust is, is just using existing tools to accomplish existing jobs in a slightly different way under different constraints. We've really only begun to see the true effect of digital innovation on teaching and learning. It's impacted many disciplines substantially, um, but the actual teaching and learning, the process of teaching and learning, the classroom, hasn't really changed that much. Um, for instance, artificial intelligence hasn't really landed in the average classroom yet. And by 2020, uh, 2030, it will have impacted most classrooms. And the way that that teaching and learning is accomplished in the classroom, it's not just about the tools we use or the discipline specific competencies that we're obtaining in the classroom, but it's the actual way that teaching and learning will happen uh, is gonna be fundamentally changed by digital innovations. And it's not just about different tools. It's about using tools to do new things, to do things that weren't possible before. Um, assessment is a great example. Um, that's going to be drastically different. And we're seeing the beginnings of that now, accelerated by the pandemic. Um, the whole sector, from the point of view of, of an undergraduate student, for instance, the whole process of doing a degree, from application to graduation, and everything in between will be much different than it is today. Um, our classrooms are in a way the last frontier, but they, they will change as well. I think if we've learned anything in the last 18 months, it's that teaching and learning in Ireland is flexible, fast moving um, and ever changing. I think we're in a really, really exciting time and I can say I don't think there's any way of knowing what it's really going to look like, but I know it's going to be more flexible and more accessible for all kinds of students um, in meeting students where they are at and being more flexible as well for teachers um, and, and professors and being able to engage and have the time to spend with their subject and sharing their, their knowledge and information. Um, and I'm really excited to see all the various new forms of assessment that we are going to find over uh, the coming years in ensuring that students are able to 
master their subject and not just being asked questions on a memory test.